So, hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I know I haven't made a video in a little while, but there's quite a few changes. Got a motor that runs. Turn the switch on. She runs. Needs kind of needs a carb clean. That carburetor's been on so many motors, so. And it's wide open, so there's definitely mud in it. But, uh, yeah. Um, and it's not doing it. I don't know. I guess it's not doing it right the second because I did forget to turn my fuel off. But it was flooding the cylinder. But, so. You see, new switch there. Come back here. You got my normal tail light, and then I put two red lights in that were on the silver bullet. Um,. I know my switch setup's jank, but it'll be fine for now. This one's still my headlight. Now, you know, you see a big mess back here, right? As you see, there is um, no terminals going to this. And as you can see, um, they're going into here. Which, I gotta make a little rubber connector, a uh, little rubber grommet to go in there for it don't start shorting out because it probably will um this is my ground so it's not actually taped up but my positive is electrical taped up it's right there that's just for extending don't mind my ground wires <laughs> but this will be a spare battery kind of that battery's um, this battery i'm pretty sure shot but come in here remove that and you come under here and i have a car battery in here now which I really love, like, a lot. Um, it's not in the best shape, but... And I have hose clamps holding that up. The connector's on right now. So that's nice. But, you know. Positive ground. I know they're both red. That's so many cables I had, but... I do have a car battery shoved in here now. And a bunch of rags for spacers, but... I'm just covering up the terminals, because... You know, you don't, I got tools in here and stuff, so you never want anything jumping up at you. Well, jumping up at it and start sparking it out. But and then that goes in there. Um. But uh, now this thing has it went from a spot five. I blew up to five speed. That was in it. I know I haven't made videos in a while, but right there. That's from me getting it out with a hammer but that's from me uh blowing it up then i rebuilt the transmission which i kind of started a video on it but i never finished it but i rebuilt this transmission which you like oh yeah everything's fine everything still works everything spins but what happened is all these these bolts came loose and from my bolts coming loose it cracked my case so, yeah, there's a crack right there. I haven't really looked around, you know, bolts loose there. Um, and there's a crack there. So this case really, the top and bottom, really, I mean, you could use it, but not really. But all the stuff in here should be good. So I kind of have a spare for, because I do have a, this is that five speed I blew up right here. What's left of it. Um, but, yeah, this transmission's still good. I know, I wasted a bunch of RTV on it and everything. It's all sealed up and everything. Everything still works. But, cracked the case because these bolts came loose because the holes are stripped out. Um, but I do have other transmissions that need parts. So. Well, I don't have no top cases. That's the problem. <laughs> I have zero. I've blown up every transmission that's happened. I broke the top case on it. So, yeah. So after that, that only lasted for about 20 minutes of riding it last night, and then that broke, well, it blew up. And then I have another six-speed in here. This was actually out of the Derby mower I have. I'm going to rebuild one of those transmissions to put in the Derby mower. But this has a six-speed in it now with new mounts. None of that jank crap. It's actually the right mount for the transmission mount. The only jank part about this is those. These front mounts are a little... But, you know, that's whatever. But, six speed. And it has the raised shifter, which I love. 
because this raises this up a lot. So, yeah. Um, I might be putting a side shift during this. I'm not sure yet. I wanted to do it today, but I kind of got lazy. But I have all the stuff right here. The only problem is that, but that's not that big of a deal, I don't think. I could just drill a hole, and I think, or I have a spare one. But, as you can see, I have a new rim on this side because this was the rim, rim that was on it. See any problems there? Yeah. So, completely ruined this rim. And it was a pain in the butt to get off, so I destroyed the back of it too, but this rim wasn't really usable anyways because that crack as you see there so that's nice speaking of it i have cores somewhere but yep this will be a spare battery or another i might put an ammo box in there i'm not sure yet it's either gonna be an ammo box or another battery for jump starting or whatever you need but yeah that's about it so she's oh and i got let me pull her in a little ways more but if you look under here i have a bigger front pulley now that was actually off of mad max if you guys remember her i don't know if i showed you guys but i did a pulley swap i don't know a few months ago when i had the opposed twin in here before i, bl I blew the opposed twin up too <laughs> yep the opposed twin the last update you guys seen on this had a opposed twin in it it had a opposed twin in it but it blew up so yeah but i did when i had the opposed twin i did this pulley swap because that post twin was like mad slow. Uh, had no RPMs. But um, yep. I added this. This was actually off of Mad Max too. Always a little rough, but it's just an idler. See, I bolted it in right there, and then I tack welded it. Well, welded it right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's on the bottom. Just for I can have another, this is just another idler, which just belts the wrong size, as you can see. Still loose, but, yeah. I did that because I don't, I don't have money right now, and I want to ride it, and I want to pull this up, so yeah. But, belt guards are still good, besides this one, right here, I had to cut it, so now it's not welded in. But I cut it because it was rubbing on the other transmission I put in it last night, but know if i really feel like welding it back up because it's not really moving much it's still rubbing on the support here but i might just tack it in but yeah i'll do a speed run on it at some point but it does pretty good and my foot throttle's hooked up actually working right through the cable i gotta work on my choke because yeah that's all i got for choke because it rubs on the cable it's not this cable's fault. It's the uh, straddle cable rubs on it. So, yeah. But this thing normally starts up without choke fine. So, I don't know. I had to do a head gasket on this too. This needed a head gasket. This was a motor I had laying around, but I kind of gave up on it. But I actually love this motor. And I have some things to make. I got to do an oil change on her. We did a 10-mile trip when I had my 5-speed in it. Me and my cousin, it was 10 miles. Took us 4 hours on the tractors that was before i did before i did my pulley swap um but had this engine it did good and i told her i had to do an oil change on it if she made it and she made it so i gotta do oil change on her but i ain't got no money right now but i do have some things to make this cover a little bit prettier i want to put the starter cover on it just to touch her up a little bit you know but uh yeah that's about it i think so yeah and I can't tell, but it might have a knock. I can't tell, but I do love this motor, 17.5. I love these, love this motor. So, yeah. And if any of y'all running my, wondering what my throttle setup is, this is jank as hell. This is all messed up. This is just sitting here, and it gets away your boot all the time. But uh, it's just sitting there for now, and then it comes up through the dashboard don't mind my wiring and all the oil is from all the other engines i blew up then it's bolted right here and it runs down then it's bolted on its original spot and then 
Going up to the carburetor and just has a self tapper with free turn spring. And then choke is just normal choke. It just goes from the choke. I made a new spot for the choke cable to hold because this was choke. Well, this had choke and throttle on one. But yeah, so I think that's about it. And I actually, I keep saying that's about it, but I actually hooked up my uh, charging wire too. But I think that's about it. So yeah, peace.